So hello everyone, uh, uh, welcome uh, in my life of a cherry picker. So today let me tell you how I became a cherry picker here in China. So you know what's a cherry picker? Is <laughs> someone, or uh, maybe what you can say is like a, a, free, a free rider or cherry picker. I think cherry picker, free rider, it's like a, you just go there and you enjoy the things for free, you know. So my belief is that, um, um, <laughs> You know, back in France, and when I'm in France, I feel much more um, ashamed that I'm now. Because people will eh, look at you nasty, you will immediately have guards, you immediately have police, you immediately have angry people quarreling with you, threatening on a low suit, annoying you. That's not the case here in China. Most of the time, you can you can just go around film. People will not annoy you too much, you know. Sometimes they will have a few people will come and say, no, oh, yeah, you, you cannot film, you cannot film. In that case, you just pretend you don't understand, you know. And there's no shame, no shame here in China to do anything. And some things that I say is that, you know, uh, you see it's Friday, and let me show you here, it's Friday. And on Friday, there are so many things that are free, like this one. Um, I will try this one. <laughs> so which one can I try? Like this one. Uh, let me try this one. <laughs> so, so, you know, so the thing is, um, you have so many things that are free, like this. So here is the yogurt. They will offer you many free things, but you also have the fruits. Sometimes you have some chocolate. Sometimes you, have... and this is the strategy of the supermarket that do this. Not the strategy of the supermarket, the strategy of the brand. You know, for my wife, she's ashamed of me because what they will do is they will go around and then go around one time, then two times, then three times, and four times, and eat whatever I, I want as much as I want. You know, because I believe it's my right. It's my right to do so. You are free. You know, so you need to enjoy the life. I think, in fact, everything should be free on this world, you know, and nothing is free. The hair should be free, the water should be free, the food should be free, you know. And even more now, where we have less... Uh, don't buy it! Don't buy it! Yeah, I don't want... <laughs> so my wife is paying. And uh, so everything should be free here. Especially now, you have less and less possibilities to find a job. And especially, I believe, all these companies, they're making tons of money on your back using the natural resource of the planet and not even caring about you, you know, they can sell you the things that they cost them one, one, one yuan, they will sell it to you 40 yuan, you know, they will pay, the, they, will, they will get the money for themselves, for a few people, for, and then they, then they will pay their employees very bad and then they will abuse you as a, as a customer. Not only this, but they will use up the resource, uh, if, if it's milk, the milk will not be clean. If it's, you know, everything should come free, you know. So I have no shame at all going around and picking the things. You see over there, they had like the, the fruits. So they give you the fru free fruits. What are these fruits? I mean, they are genetically modified fruits. You know, here you have uh, the pineapples that come from Costa Rica, where they destroyed all the environment, planting all these pineapple place and killing all the biodiversity and many species. I don't care, you know, if I'm allowed to, to it's a small payback, enjoy it, enjoy the fruit. They destroyed it, they destroyed it, they did this decision. Why not me, you know, it's all come for free. They abuse the people, abuse the local workers, abuse the local environment, destroy the things. You know, you should be a free rider, you know, and, and the thing is, when you are in China, and that's in this world, you should be a free rider. Just follow yourself, take the things for free, you know. Uh, there's no shame in doing that, you know. Of course, when you are like uh, stealing, and uh, you feel the guys have, have nothing, then yes, there is a little bit shame in doing this. But if not, you know, was, who cares, you know, who cares? You know, even I'm going to tell you, and I really believe in this, if you are to steal for the big companies, why not steal from the big companies? You know, these guys are just thieves, you know, they are this themselves. They, they just justified the ownership, and they keep control on the ownership over the people, and yes, there's no hope for you, you know? So here there is, for instance, like this. Let me try. So I've already been trying a lot. So let's, let me try one again. Yeah. So my wife is ashamed because I've been staying like there for the last uh, 20 minutes taking uh, taking the pineapples. You know? But see, that's what I'm telling you. Why not? You know, I don't care. 15 yuan for the pineapples. That's produced by Dole. You know, the shameful company. You know, I don't care. These guys are shameless. You know, they, they abuse the resource of our planet. Why not should I get my share if I, and it's, it's free, there's no shame, there's no shame in doing it. So you should break your own uh, barriers and do as you wish, you know. The only thing that could stop you and that can stop you is the law. 
like you are afraid of a lawsuit, you are afraid of the guy who holds the guns, uh, you are afraid of the guy who is going to come, the bodyguard or the guy from the supermarket who is going to kick you, kick your ass and kick you out and threaten you. Uh, yes, and maybe if this happened to a guy like me, um, some people have more to lose than others, you know. In France, I know many people, they have nothing to lose, you know, well, put me in jail, so what, you know. I will stay there like six months, one year, and so after, what do I have to lose, you know, nothing. Doesn't destroy my life. Anyway, my life, there's no hope in it, you know. Uh, yeah, so, in China, you really become a... Uh, this is what, about this video, and this is something true, you know, there's <laughs> also a woman. Ah, wait, 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 <laughs> so you see, so there's something that they offer, always offer you things for free, and that's the thing, you know, everything is, maybe a Chinese customer, you will feel like, oh, she offered this for free, so I need to buy, me, I don't feel anything, I say, okay, give me for free, thank you, I take it, you know, and, uh, and, uh, for some people, when I see it's a small business, he's doing this, yeah, I feel, okay, he's the poor guy, he's trying to feed his family, he's a small business, he has the rent to pay, he has his staff to pay, yes. but when he's the big company, you know, so what? You know? And um, about, uh, about this also, it's one thing that you find out in China is you find out the value of money. And this is something I, I discuss quite a lot with you quite often. You find out about the value of money. Money is everything here, you know, when you have money, you can have everything. You can put your, your kid in the good school. You can buy the visa and go abroad. You can buy the car and crash people or park wherever you want, you know. Money is everything and you find it uh, more when you are in China. So when you find out about this, many people, when they will become here, um, a little bit stingy. They will be beware of money. They don't want to spend so much. And they'll say, if it's free, I take it, you know. And even uh, here, what happens is uh, you will concede by yourself if you stay here. So, Many Chinese people, if you just leave something on the street, people will just rush and pick it up. Because this is like this, they know what's, okay, it's free, it's free, it's free, you know. Um, when you have been through hard time, and maybe you have uh, suffered, and, and there was no way for you uh, to survive, but only like uh, be the first, uh, get the info before others, you know, it's the, you have so many people, so uh, huge crowds, and when you see it's free, then you just go for it, you know. And here is the guy from the supermarket. Let, let me just wait for my kid. No, this is not bad. It's like breakfast cereal. But um, I think it's overpriced for what it is. I didn't check the price, but I know it's overpriced, so I would rather just buy mine. <laughs> and if I want more, I can always come back. <laughs> now we come on. I, you know, I once, based on the French education, what I'm doing is bad, you know? Because you will feel like, you need to pay people for, for their work and you cannot steal, it's like kind of stealing, uh, people give you for free, nothing is for free, nothing comes from free, so if someone gives you something you should give back, you know, but now I don't have this, this way of thinking anymore, you know. Now that I'm here in China and now that I've lived a little bit my life, you know, I feel like, what the hell, you know. Um, of course it's free because they are taking it from people, you know. These companies, they get the resource, they get this, they abuse everyone. Of course it's free, of course it should be free, you know. If you can take it, just take it. If you can take from them, just take from them, you know. <laughs> You're not obliged to anything, you know. Uh, once I would not feel this way, once I would be stuck in a way that is in fact the good way of thinking, it's the community way of thinking. Someone give you, you give him back, you know. Uh, someone gives you something for free, it means, okay, you cannot give me, I cannot accept the gift. I will still want to pay you something, or I still want to buy from you, because you give me, so your, your gesture is one of friendship, so I cannot really, uh, I cannot really accept and I need to do. Now I am not in this state of mind anymore, you know, and that's this state of mind, it's in fact, I believe the normal uh, state of mind, you know, for a human being, you know, if your neighbors give you something, you feel okay, the neighbors give me this, next time I will give him this, you know, or I, I owe him, you know, but now uh, toward companies, and companies, they know this very well, they know that if they give for free, people would, uh, would normally, they will shop, they will buy, you know. And let me, uh, I will give it to my kid anyway. I don't know where is my wife, so I will, I will just leave you for now. Uh, just for the fun of it, I will go uh, down uh, because it's Friday. Uh, Friday um, 
afternoon and I'm going to go down together with you so you can see the people. So first I'm going to turn the camera this, this way, this way so you can see the people climbing. And by the way, we are going to see something fun. Um, if you look on the right, you will be able to see there's the star back here on the right and it's packed up with people. This is crazy. It's another madness. You know? I mean, these Starbucks are so expensive and you don't even see it well. Look, look at this guy. I, I, will go, I will go up anyway. I will I'll go up again because my wife and kid are behind. It's just for the fun of it. Look at this Starbucks, you know, it's packed up with people. It's just madness, you know, packed up with people and then they just sit there in the whole afternoon. They will pay like 40 yuan for one coffee and they will sit there in this chair that are really bad. The coffee is bad, the chair are bad, the environment is bad, everything is bad, but they will still pay the price for it. Yeah. So. And then they will get diabetes. And then they will get disease because they drink this uh, food, which is a bad food, you know, it's junk food. <laughs> Complaining again. It's, like, it's the truth, you know? It's the truth. So, okay, I'll see you, everyone. And don't forget, be a free rider like me, okay? <laughs> Take care and see you next time. Au revoir, les amis!